Hello and welcome to Music Lab. I'm Cadence Cadenza, reporting live at the Gallagher Blue Door Music Lab, where a group of renowned scientists have invented an absolute musical marvel, a special violin bow that has the ability to magnetize composers from the past to the present, but only for 20 minutes. Then the musical magnetic field loses charge and the composer is snapped back to their place in history. Here to talk with us today are two musical researchers, Hannah and Austin. Tell me, how exactly does this technology work? Well, you see, Cadence, our bows are hooked up via Bluetooth to a giant magnet back in the main lab. Using this musical magnetic technology, we can play any piece of music, and the composer of that music will be pulled through time to that big magnet in our lab. We want these composers to stay safe and healthy, so we've hooked up a video recording system so that we can communicate with them remotely. This way, the composer is isolated from anyone in the lab. I mean, who knows what they might catch here in our time. Oh, simply incredible. Now, as the first people able to communicate with past musical masters, what will you be asking these composers once you've snatched them back from the past? Well, we want them to spill the beans. We want to know how they were so good back in the day. Yeah, nowadays it just feels like we're writing the same music over and over again. We want to know how they were so original back then. Mm, truly original music, a thrilling pursuit indeed. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get this experimental show on the road. Who will you be bringing back first? Mozart. Mozart. All right, you heard it here, folks. Better buckle up because here comes the child prodigy himself, Mozart. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. It's all good. You just got snatched to the year 2021. Oh, the year 2021? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Now you can share some of your musical secrets with the future. <laughs> this isn't exactly going like I thought it would. Maybe he just needs a little encouragement. Boy, how about that Mozart? One of the most famous people on the planet. Who knows this melody? Did you know that Mozart wrote this melody? But I didn't even write that melody. What, really? Really? I based it off of a French folk tune I heard. Uh, oh, it goes like this. Um, a vous dire je maman ce qui cause mon torment. Wow, so you're telling us that you didn't even write your most famous piece of music? Hey, 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 now, let's not get carried away. I may not have written the original melody, but uh, I did write a pretty incredible set of variations using it, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, Mozart's 12 variations. I think I heard somebody play that on piano once. Wait a second, get this Mozart. You were inspired by that folk tune you heard to write 12 variations for piano, and another composer in our time was inspired to write something new using your 12 variations. Yeah, you inspired a guy named Alexia Gutesman to write a piece for two violins titled Twinkle Twinkle You Big Star. So get this, you're telling me a composer in the future wrote a piece based off of my 12 variations? I'm famous! Oh, would you play it for me? Sure, but Mozart, could you tell us how you came up with 12 different variations based off just one musical melody? Absolutely. Now, you see, it all started when I was living in France. One day as I was sitting down to compose, I heard a little tune from the children singing below my window. Oh, it was such a quaint little melody, I knew I needed to use it somehow, but well, by itself, it wasn't very exciting, so I had to, shall we say, embellish it.
Now, the next day as I was sitting down to compose, it started to rain. Drumming on my roof! How was I supposed to compose with all that racket going on up there? Then I got an idea. Well, the day after the storm, I realized I had left a window open and water had gone all over one of my musical manuscripts. I was on the verge of a meltdown when I had an idea. Why not take all of these sad, sad sentiments and use it to write a new variation of my composition? Finally, I was ready to write the final movement of my 12 variations. But as soon as I sat down to compose, what should come crashing out my window but a big old parade? Ha! I took that bombastic energy outside my window and channeled it into one grand slam finale. <laughs> And get this, Mozart, that's not even the only piece that you inspired Alexei Gutesman to write based off of your music. Uh, I double inspired him? Yeah, <gasps> he loved your piece, Eine Klein and Oct Music, and he used melodies from each of the four movements to write a new piece called A Very Little Night Music. If we played it for you, do you think you could help us find where in a Gutesman's music your four movements are located? <laughs> Absolutely! Oh, let's make it a musical game. Now you two play this piece by Goodsman, and I will listen to hear how he used the four movements of my piece, Eine Kleine Nacht music, to inspire his own music. Oh, every time I hear a melody of mine, I'll let you know if it came from movement one, two, three, or four. You got it, Mozart.
was like, my music and E. Goodsman's music were having a conversation across time itself. Totally. Being inspired by somebody else's art is a great way to pay tribute to them. Or add your own fun, unique twist. After all, I borrowed other composers' ideas to make my music. Why shouldn't others be able to do the same for mine? Definitely. Oh wait, Mozart, I'm getting word from Cadence that we're running out of time. We gotta send you back to the past. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much. Have a great time in Austria or wherever you're going back to. Farewell, future people. It's been grand. Well, what an absolutely thrilling day it's been here at the Music Lab. Thanks to this incredible musical magnetic technology, researchers are finally cracking the code on some of the most magnificent musical mysteries. It's been a day full of variations of musical inspiration, and you've seen it all here, live at the lab. Who will the researchers bring back from the past next? Find out next time! I'm Cadence Cadenza, and you've been watching Music Lab Live. <laughs>